Donald Trump has retweeted three inflammatory videos from a British far-right group. The first tweet from Jada Franson, the deputy leader of Britain First, claims to show a Muslim migrant attacking a man on crutches. This was followed by two more videos of people Ms. Franson claims to be Muslim. Responding to Mr. Trump's posts, UK Prime Minister Theresa May's official spokesman said it was wrong for the president to have done this. White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders said Mrs. May and other world leaders knew that these are real threats that we have to talk about. Whether it's a real video, the threat is real, she said. The original video was shared by U.S. conservative commentator Ann Coulter who Mr. Trump follows. The first video purportedly shows a Muslim migrant attacking a young Dutch man on crutches. However, the claim in this tweet appears to have little substance. A spokesperson from the Dutch Public Prosecution Service told the BBC that the person arrested for the attack was born and raised in the Netherlands and was not a migrant, as claimed in the social media post. The Netherlands Embassy in Washington, D.C. confirmed this on Twitter. At Real Donald Trump facts do matter. The perpetrator of the violent act in this video was born and raised in the Netherlands. He received and completed his sentence under Dutch law. End of Twitter post by at N. Linthi Yusa. The second video retweeted by Mr. Trump shows a man smashing a statue of the Virgin Mary. This video was uploaded to YouTube in 2013. The man in the clip says, no one but Allah will be worshipped in the land of the Levant, which could place him in Syria. The third video originates from the riots that took place in Egypt in 2013, and shows a man being pushed from the top of a building in Alexandria. In 2015, those involved in the, the incident were prosecuted, and one man was executed. Read more about the videos here. Britain First was founded in 2011 by former members of the far-right British National Party, BNP. The group has grabbed attention on social media with controversial posts about what they deem the Islamification of the UK. It has put up members to run in European elections and by-elections on anti-immigration and anti-abortion policies, but has not secured any seats. It also contested the most recent London mayoral election, receiving 1.2% of the vote. But its social media strategy has made it much more successful online than at the ballot box. The party has nearly 2 million likes on Facebook, dwarfing the main UK political parties. M.S. Franson, the group's deputy leader, has been charged with using threatening, abusive or insulting words or behavior during speeches she made in Belfast. She will appear at Belfast Magistrates Court on Thursday, December 14. You can read more about Britain first here. Analysis by Anthony Zercher, BBC News North America reporter. Donald Trump is once again using Twitter to weigh in on contentious religious-tinged political issues in the UK. In the past, he's attacked London Mayor Sadiq Khan for mishandling a militant attack just hours after it occurred. He misattributed a rise in crime in England and Wales to the spread of radical Islamic terror.